Have you ever seen those massive space habitats like the O'Neill Cylinder or Sierra Space's realistic model? Inspired by these giants and with a touch of sheer badness, I decided to create my very own space habitat. But I didn't stop there. I added a giant cherry blossom tree for a touch of life. Then we built a crazy looking artificial gravity attachment. Once complete, our mission will be the journey to the planet Dres and dock with the massive Dres station forming an entire space habitat. But first, we had to perfect the design. Our main concern was stability. After all, a cherry blossom tree and a rocket needs to be strong enough to survive the journey to space and beyond. So after many hours of tinkering, our custom-made cherry blossom tree inside a makeshift space habitat was ready. This comprises a total of 808 parts, with a mass of 5,000 tons. For context, this is heavier than a Boeing 747 airplane. The launch itself was plagued with problems, ranging from spontaneous explosions to loss of control during flight. Some of these issues were apparent at a glance, such as the fact that this is the most non-aerodynamic vehicle ever launched. For example, imagine having a Boeing 747 with a parachute deployed and trying to fly. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Furthermore, there was another problem. Normally a rocket launches and steadily changes its direction to move eastward, reaching orbit through a gravity turn. Unfortunately, during my testing, the Space Habitat rocket proved too difficult to control. As a result, we had no choice but to launch it straight up into the sky and make the turn to the east only after reaching space. This decision was made to avoid the trouble of fighting against the atmosphere. Though this didn't spare us from the frequent rocket explosions. After weeks of persistence and questioning what I'm doing with my life, we finally reached orbit. To further enhance our space habitat, I built this crazy design. Equipped with a large counterweight and an elongated arm, it not only serves the purpose of creating pretend artificial gravity, but it also adds an aesthetic touch to our build. Launching this into the space was incredibly painful due to its complex asymmetric design, which posed significant challenges to stability and control. It comprises a total of 376 parts, and its design is based on the principle of centrifugal force. Furthermore, there was another problem. Due to the game's poor performance, I had to reduce the number of parts in our previous two flights. Therefore, before we reach our destination, the planet Dres, we needed to add an ample supply of fuel. Thus, I launched two refueling ships that could play massive Delta V to ensure our journey. The design aimed for high efficiency burns with the ability to the couple fuel tanks as they become empty. After several hours, we successfully docked both refueling ships. With our fuel tanks brimming, we blasted off towards Dres, embarking on a long and thrilling voyage. As our rocket soared through space, our curve was through a yoga rave party. They actually started dancing. <laughs> the cherry blossom tree bending at an impossible angle. While engineers on Earth worked tirelessly to counteract wobbly rockets and ensure a stable flights, our Kerbals were lost in the beat of the music, dancing and swaying to the rhythm. To address these problems, we made attempts to rebalance the fuel and even experimented with repositioning and refueling ships, but our efforts were ultimately unsuccessful. The years of adventure passed in the blink of an eye, and the party came to an end. The Kerbals donned their serious faces. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, docking with the magnificent Dress Station. We first attempted docking with the artificial gravity ship, but encountered challenges due to the imbalanced mass and RCS thruster position. Just when we thought we achieved perfect alignment with the Dress Station, we would unexpectedly zoom right past it. After six attempts, persistence paid off, and we were finally connected. Then came our space habitat's turn. The gentle swaying of the tree made the process nerve-wracking. It proved challenging to get alignment with the dress station, 
So we chose to slowly drift and let nature take its course. As we approached the drift station at a relative speed of 0.6 meters per second, it's worth noting that the docking maximum speed for the International Space Station stands at 0.1 meters per second, or 10 centimeters in actual space operations. However, in our case, we we're recklessly going six times faster, which was a little bit concerning. Then, with a loud bang, we received confirmation that the docking was successful. Overall, the space station consists of 1,565 parts and weighs over 1,000 tons, causing some lag that will leave me forever traumatized. For context, the International Space Station weighs approximately 450 tons, so we've more than doubled that number. This took months to construct, but witnessing this creation is a sight we may see in the near future, whether in game or real life. Thank you for watching.